In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the angle between two planes. So let's begin with a picture. So let's say this is the first plane and beneath it is the second plane. And then let's say this is the normal vector of the first plane. Let's call that N1. And here we have the normal vector of the second plane, N2. So this angle, that's the angle between the two planes, that's theta, which is the same angle here. In order to find the angle between the two planes, we need to find the angle between the two normal vectors. If we can do that, that's going to give us our answer. So let's go ahead and begin. The normal vector for this plane, let's call it the first plane, is going to be the coefficients of the equation, the numbers in front of x, y, and z. And so that's going to be 2, negative 3, 4. Now the second normal vector, that's the normal vector for plane 2, it's going to be 3, 5, and negative 2. So now that we have the two normal vectors, our next step is to find the angle between those two normal vectors. To find the angle between two vectors, we could use this formula. Cosine theta is equal to the dot product of n1 and n2 divided by the magnitude of the two vectors. So let's begin by finding the dot product of the two vectors. To do that, we need to multiply the x values, the y values, and the z values together. So it's going to be 2 times 3 plus negative 3 times 5 plus 4 times negative 2. Now the next thing we need to do is divide it by the magnitude of the two vectors. So the magnitude for n1 is going to be the sum of the squares of these values. So it's going to be 2 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 4 squared. Now for the second normal vector, we're going to follow the same process. So we're going to have 3 squared plus 5 squared plus negative 2 squared all within the square root symbol. So now let's do the math. 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 3 times 15 is, I mean, let me say that again. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. And then 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. On the bottom, we have 2 squared, which is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. And then 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, negative 2 squared is 4. 6 minus 15, that is negative 9. Negative 9 minus 8 is negative 17. 4 plus 16 is 20, plus 9. So that gives us the square root of 29. And then 9 plus 25 is 34, plus 4, that's 38. Now let's multiply 29 and 38. So that's 1102. So we have negative 17 divided by the square root of 1102. And so cosine is equal to that value. So now we could find the angle. So it's going to be the arc cosine of what we have here negative 17 over the square root of 1102. So go ahead and type that into your calculator. So you should get 120.8 degrees. So this is one of the two answers. So let me explain. Let's say this is one of the planes. 
And let's say here we have another plane. So this angle here, that's the larger angle, that's 120.8. We also have a smaller angle, which is going to be 180 minus 120.8. And that angle is going to be 59.2. Just think of the intersection between or of two lines. Actually, let me draw a line this way. So this angle would be 120.8. And this other acute angle is 59.2. So that's how we get two possible answers. So that's how you could find the angles between the two planes.